Uh, welcome to a new camera review of one of the hottest camera smartphones right now. The battle between the Honor Magic 5 Pro against the Oppo Find X6 Pro. So let's get started. In this warm spring day we want to do a comparison between those two phones and here you can see the camera bumps that are quite similar aren't they? Three cameras all of them 50 megapixels and one of them a periscope zoom lens uh, just a difference three and a half times on the honor and three times or 2.8 times actually which is cropped into three times on the oppo a 50 megapixel imx 989 main camera sensor on the oppo and the uh, Honor has an almost one inch size sensor uh, which is also quite cool. I don't have the specification of this one here actually. And then we have an ultra wide angle which is a bit wider on the Honor than on the Oppo. And then of course we have front facing shooters as well. We have a 32 megapixel front facing camera on the Oppo and a 12 megapixel front facing camera housed in a 3D face with together with a 3D face scanner on the Honor. And I think we start off with the front facing video. So we start off with the Oppo Find X6 Pro and the front-facing camera, 1080p, 30 frames per second. So you can see, yeah, there's a bit of HDR, but there are also overblown highlights for sure, because it just cannot handle uh, this kind of like harsh sunlight. What do you think about the stabilization here? 1080p only, we have the good point. We have autofocus, so it can focus on the camera bump. Can it focus on the camera bump of the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate? I'm not sure if it can, um, maybe on something that you can see here, you can focus on. Anyway, it has autofocus as well, but it's only 1080p, 30 frames per second, and the quality, especially if you turn on, stabilization is not that great. So what do you think about the Oppo Find X6 Pro? I have also the ability, this is 0.8 times, with stabilization enabled. I think it's a bit wider with uh, without stabilization. I can also go to one times, which looks like this, and I can even zoom in up to two times if I want to, but uh, don't know. No, 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 no. Uh, let's check out the Honor. And now we have the Honor Magic 5 Pro, as you can see here, also HDR, and I think a little bit better HDR. There's a bit of highlight blown out as well. What do you think about this one here? It is a bit wider than uh, the Oppo, especially because it has 0.7 times by default as uh, so a magnification, so it's a bit wider field of view that you have here. 18 millimeters, I think, instead of 21. 21 millimeters on the front facing camera stabilization is working fine and yes we have 4k 30 frames per second and we can also zoom in 0.8 times this is now roughly what you got also with the oppo and we can also go one times if we want to i think we can even zoom in no we cannot zoom in this is one time a 0.8 times and 0.7 times i really like uh, this uh, very versatile and good quality kind of front facing camera on the honor magic 5 pro what do you think about this one here so and now I'm recording with the highlight of the Oppo Find X6 Pro, the one inch type sensor. And this one is a pretty, pretty good one because F1.8, you get a nice background blur. You have good HDR, I think, as well. What do you think about the video quality stabilization and so on of this Oppo Find X6 Pro? So I have to check if there's no bicycle coming. Uh, so what I want to show you right now is the ultra wide angle. So I can zoom out to the ultra wide angle. So they have suddenly these uh, zoom sliders. This is the ultra wide angle on the Oppo Find X6 Pro. What do you think here about this one? I think it is 15 millimeters if I'm not completely mistaken. So it is ultra wide, a bit wider than the Sony, uh, but it's not uh, amongst the flagships that have like 13, 14 millimeters. So it's a bit narrower. What do you think still about this ultra wide angle as it is uh, also using a very large sensor size here, one over 1.5 inch size sensor, which is very, very cool. It was already uh, put into flagships last year and now we have it as an ultra wide angle i think very very good quality house hdr here should handle the sun hopefully as well and yeah there's a ship passing by maybe let's try out the zoom capabilities so i'm lucky I always have a ship passing by Ooh, zoom with the sun there so it is switching lenses should switch lenses at three times not sure if it's switched lenses there you can go up to 18 times in general so can you read what's written there and this is now 10 times zoom and we can go back here i'm not sure if there's switch lenses yeah it's switch lenses so this is now four times it should have switched lenses there what do you think about the 
uh, Oppo Find X6 Pro. Let's go to 10 times. This is 10 times here, roughly. Now let's switch to the Honor Magic 5 Pro. Pro. So now same ship, the Honor Magic 5 Pro. What do you think about the quality here? I think it might be even a little bit cleaner on the Honor. That's my personal feeling here. What do you think about this one here? This is 10 times. This is four times. So you can see a nice smooth zoom. This is one times. This is ultra wide angle. And back to 10 times here. And uh, we can not zoom in any further. Another ship is passing by. What do you think about the quality here? Let's go to one time and let's check out the background blur because we have a very, very large one uh, f1.4 aperture on this almost one inch size sensor, one over 1.1 two inch size sensor which is pretty pretty cool and awesome as well so what do you think about the quality here we get a nice background blur as well good hdr as well and of course i can also switch to the ultra wide angle so let's check out the ultra wide angle that is a bit cropped but still like uh, what is it 14 millimeters uh, 30 millimeters something like this so very very cool indeed the ultra wide angle on the honor magic 5 pro so what do you think which one has the better cameras in terms of video i have my preference already and you know probably which one I prefer. Here now the internal mics of the Honor Magic 5 Pro. It has a free mic system on the back one and on left and on the right one as well. So what do you think about the microphone quality here? Also when there's a bit of wind going on, is it filtering the wind out and it's uh, isolating my uh, voice a little bit? How does it look like? And here now the Oppo Find X6 Pro's uh, internal mic system, also free mics on the left, on the right and on the center in the back. Also a bit of wind going on. Is it isolating the wind? Is it filtering the wind noises out here? What do you think about the mic quality here on the Oppo Find X6 Pro? So here we have the photos on the left always the Find X6 Pro on the right always the Magic 5 Pro. We start with low light dim lit night situations and here it's very interesting because we have a one inch type sensor on the Find X6 Pro versus the almost one inch type sensor on the Magic 5 Pro with a larger aperture and we can see we have a bit of a brighter exposure on the Magic 5 Pro and when you zoom in what you can see here also is that the Magic 5 Pro has a more aggressive algorithm that is sharpening things up, that is lightening things up, that is uh, getting away of the noise and it's like optimizing the text here a little bit as you can see it's trying to optimize the text and makes it a little bit easier to read i would say at least the the top line the bottom line what could argue that it's not doing a perfect job here but still it is readable what i really like and where you can see big differences is one audio logo here which is much better on the magic 5 pro and the same goes here down here much more clarity on the magic 5 pro its main lens uh, the text is not only sharper here but the IMs, the picture is much sharper, less noisy, and the same goes for here. It is a bit artificial on the Magic 5 Pro for sure, but I, I would prefer this over this like very noisy picture that I get on the Find X6 Pro where I cannot see certain things here. So what do you think? Where I like the Find X6 Pro more is the white balance because usually it nails the white balance quite well as you can see here this light was like slightly yellow but not as yellow as the magic 5 pro makes it look like and we have a little bit maybe brighter shadows here on the um, magic 5 pro again it's a bit of yellowish as you can see here, everything which is not so realistic because this cupboard here for example is uh, white and we can see a bit of bending going on in the magic 5 pro like this black lines going like this here and we can see clarity differences and color differences here again on the Find X6 Pro much better than on the Magic 5 Pro. When it comes to the um, main camera sensor, however, sometimes it can be hit or miss on the Find X6 Pro in this very dark condition here. I couldn't see really the license plate of those cars down there. I could see that there are cars parked uh, and I know that they're red, but I couldn't see the license plate, for example, which is clearly readable here on both, but when you Take a look at the and yeah, compare them much clearer on the Magic 5 Pro again, even though same, well, same, same big main sensor and the Find X6 Pro should do a bit better. We have more noise, we have yeah, just less clarity where there's more clarity here. Look at the uh, front, the headlights here on the uh, on this car, on the Opel car, much clearer on the Magic 5 Pro than on the Find X6 Pro. But it can also sometimes lead to some things like this here. You can see nicely better exposure, a bit brighter on the Magic 5 Pro. But when you go in here, 
This also leads to overexposure on this car, for example, where you cannot read the text that is written here and clearly visible on the Find X6 Pro. And also the license plate, I think, is a bit more readable on the Find X6 Pro. So which one do you prefer? I have to say I'm trending towards the Magic 5 uh, Pro. When it comes to the ultra wide angle, low light photography with the ultra wide angle is also possible. And the Find X6 Pro is yeah very, very good because it has almost a very, very yeah, main camera sensor from last year, basically, uh, or that the Magic 4 Pro was using as main sensor last year. Very interesting indeed, but I think it made it a little bit brighter, a bit more yellowish on the Magic 5 Pro, but also made the focus for some reason. It's sharpening things up for, for sure, but yeah, it's a hit or miss here, I would say. I prefer the Magic 5 Pro because it's processing in nighttime, even for the ultra wide angle, is pretty, pretty solid. When it comes to the zoom lens here, however, in this dim lit situation, because in, if you get too low a light, then you can just, just forget about them. In this dim lit situation, we can see three and a half uh, times zoom on the Magic 5 Pro and three times zoom, which is a crop on 2.8 times on the Find X6 Pro. The Find X6 Pro is much doing much more sharpening here, applying this to this text. As you can see here, there's has a white outline that you don't see so much on the Magic 5 Pro. The white balance here, however, is nailed a bit better on the Magic 5 Pro. Yes, it is a bit more yellowish here, this uh, light, but it made everything a little bit more yellow where it's a bit more white here on the is it a bit more white it's a bit more yellowish on the magic 5 pro so maybe the white balance on the find x6 pro is a bit better there and uh, when it comes to fast moving subjects here my puppy as you can see uh, it's a bit unfair because i photographed him here with the find x6 pros telezoom three times and here with the main sensor of the magic 5 pro just as a demonstration it's hard to get those those fast moving subjects the magic 5 pro has this fast um, object moving uh, subject moving sports mode I would say uh, that you can use and it's working fine it's just capturing lots and lots of images auto capturing sometimes even to hit the right moment um, but for this fast moving subject in indoors conditions impossible to nail the shot here both I think do a fine job in nailing this when it comes to HDR with the main camera lens and sensor we don't see much of a difference a little bit of a difference in terms of colors because we have more punchy colors on the Magic 5 Pro for sure. We have a little bit better HDR because it's like, look at this, dark, 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 dark. Look at here, it's dark. Huh? Where is the green grass that we saw here, the green tree? Eh, there, it, it's much brighter on the Magic 5 Pro. Uh, also the clouds a little bit more bluish here, maybe a bit HDR, better HDR on the Magic 5 Pro. But when you go to the sides, let's go to the middle first, can see both in terms of a bit of more sharpening on the Find X6 Pro. When we go to the sides, we have this bluish kind of hue on the Find X6 Pro that might be some kind of sun ray going on, but you can see it is brightening things up here on this side. So I'm a bit divided about this one, I have to say. Um, the more uniform look I get on the Magic 5 Pro, where here it's like in this bluish kind of sun ray on the Find X6 Pro. When it comes to macro photography, both doing a fine job, both utilizing the ultra wide angle for macro photography. The Magic 5 Pro, I can get a bit closer because I have a smaller sensor, way smaller sensor than on the Find X6 Pro. Find X6 Pro looks a bit brighter here because I did not yet do a shadow there. I did not cast a shadow on it. Uh, where the Magic 5 Pro, I cast a shadow on it because yeah, I had to go a bit closer there. We get uh, a little bit more background blur for sure on the Find X6 Pro because of the sensor size when we zoom in here into the middle you can see almost the same we have a bit of darker exposure a bit of more yellowish yellow here a bit of more orangish yellow i would say on the magic 5 pro because of like casting the shadow here in terms of details not much of a difference but the magic 5 pro has an ace up its sleeve because it has a smaller sensor i can go even further and i can zoom in a little bit more here as you can see here and yeah the detail level is probably on par here with this one if i zoom in a little bit but still, I would give this win because I can get a bit closer here with the Magic 5 Pro. When it comes to the tele macro capabilities of the tele zoom lens, it doesn't have it. But it comes very close, at least on the Magic 5 Pro, I would say. And yeah, let's do a comparison here for fun. And you can see the difference here that the Magic 5 Pro can close, uh, can focus a little bit closer even here, which is quite nice. And I think it also got the exposure a bit better here than on the Find X6 Pro and the same goes here for this one. You can see, yeah, this is a smaller sensor, but it has this close focusing that the Find X6 Pro tries to, but it's not there yet, 100%. So which one do you prefer here in this case? 
And then we come to ultra wide angle, ultra wide angle, very interesting because I think the Find X6 Pro, the first time I saw it, is raising the shadows a little bit here because it was a bit darker, the screen here, and I think the green grass on the Magic 5 Pro is a bit more realistic. But when I zoom in, you can see a dramatic difference here. Much sharper on the Find X6 Pro, definitely over sharpened some, some parts here, but the Magic 5 Pro is just like losing completely the sharpness here for some reason, and it's like completely like an oil painting almost. And uh, if I even go to the sides here, you can see the same like, but the Magic 5 Pro is also a bit wider as you can see, and you can see it maybe also in a different shot here as well. By the way, colors here, blue, a bit more punchy. This shot here, much wider, much more dramatic shot on the Magic 5 Pro, which I prefer actually, because this is what I wanted to achieve, where of the Find X6 Pro, I just have to step back a bit. And in this case, I couldn't step back because it was not possible to step back there. Um, when it comes to sharpness, and again, not much of a difference here. Yes, it's softer on the Magic 5 Pro. It's a bit wider, definitely. And this is why it's softer there. But also, I don't like the high contrast on the Find X6 Pro. For some reason, it made it like the grass look like this instead of this. This is the real color of the grass. And also, the trees have this like weird kind of contrast, like as if HDR was failing on the Find X6 Pro, not kicking in correctly. Um, yeah, I prefer the Magic 5 Pro in this case. Otherwise, yeah, the Find X6 Pro has the better ultra-wide angle, but the more dramatic ultra-wide angle you definitely get with the Magic 5 Pro. Uh, when it comes to zoom shots here, zoom shots three and a half times versus three times, or three times versus three and a half times. Let's check it out. We have a bit of warmer exposure on the Magic 5 Pro. Lots more sharpening applied on the Magic 5 Pro. Lots sharper, actually. It's not only sharpening applied for sure, but it's just ways ahead of the Magic uh, of the Find X6 Pro. Um, as you can see here, much clearer, this shape much clearer, everything basically. And uh, does it get better when I zoom in a little bit more? This is now six times versus ten times. So we have, uh, let's, 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 let's go just three and a half times versus six times to see the difference here. It's still very soft on the Find X6 Pro, I'm not sure why. And uh, much clearer, much more sharpness, much more details actually on the, just look at the text here, much more details on the Magic 5. Uh, Pro, even if I zoom in like roughly the same, if I think too much, roughly the same, you can see much more details here on the Magic 5 Pro. Definitely artificial, uh, but it's just, to my eye, it looks like a bit better on the Magic 5 Pro. 10 times zoom against 10 times zoom. We have a slight difference here. I think it's not so close. Uh, there's 10 times zoom on the Find X6 Pro for some reason. But when you check it out, you can see again a little bit more sharpness applied on the Magic 5 Pro. Maybe a slightly better algorithm on the Magic 5 Pro that does not smooth things out so much as it does here on the Find X6 Pro, uh, where we keep a little bit more of realistic colors. And you can see it's also with this 30 or there's a 50 times zoom. Uh, where just look at this it's like oil painting against oil painting but which oil painting is the winner here in abstract uh, art I would say abstract art winner would be the Find X6 Pro more realistic definitely the Magic 5 Pro a bit of noise already creeping in but it's, you can clearly see if I zoom in okay this is the, uh, the, the, the bridge of the ship but here it's like <laughs> feels so many uh, no clue at all on the Find X6 Pro uh, let's talk about portrait selfies with the selfie camera. We have a closer shot on the Magic 5 Pro, even though it has a wider lens. It's closing up by default if you choose portrait here. And I like it a bit more, I have to say. A bit more punchy colors. I think a bit of better HDR. We have a bit of more yellowish kind of colors, a bit overexposure here, especially on the side where the Magic 5 Pro is doing a better job. And look at the difference in terms of sharpness. Yes, definitely sharpening applied on the Magic 5 Pro. It's just, but looks so and there's a bit of noise for sure and maybe sharpening artifacts but it's just eh. the Find X Pro Find X6 Pro is just missing a bit of sharpness a bit of more sharpness here with the 32 megapixel autofocus camera how can this be and look at this here look at this now Find X6 Pro's front facing camera is losing against the Magic 5 Pro's then again, another shot with the three versus three and a half times zoom lens of this little bistro uh, car that is selling drinks and snacks. And you can see on first glance, I don't even have to zoom in further here on the Find X6 Pro. It's soft and has issues where the Magic 5 Pro nice and sharp, maybe a bit too sharp, even over sharpened and so on. 
uh, but also the exposure it nailed it where here it is like overblown a little bit and look at the text yeah it's doing its processing on the magic 5 pro but it's just way better and even if i go with the finding six pro to three and a half times zoom that i can also choose here of course which is like cropping in even further on the three times zoom it's not changing anything the magic 5 pro is destroying it at three and a half times zoom and uh, probably the different uh, the other way around if i go to three times zoom on the magic 5 pro but yes three and a half times zoom is just simply better than on the find 6 pro and uh, what is also better is bokeh bokeh on the main camera how could it be we have an imax 989 and a large aperture but the aperture on the magic 5 pro is even larger and the sensor size is almost the same so i was focusing on this yellow chair it's really a chair here uh, in front of the restaurant and uh, both managed to make it sharp maybe the finding six pro a little bit sharper but we can see dramatically the difference here bokeh bokehlicious bokeh on the magic 5 pro no bokeh no bokeh at all on the finding six pro actually it's sharpening everything up here it's a bit softer even than here on the finding six pro so not sure what's going on same distance same shot I like the Magic 5 Pro a bit better because you get nice background bokeh. It looks more like taken with a DSLR or DSLM camera and not with a smartphone where the Find X6 Pro might have a bit more realistic colors because we have, of course, the punchiness in the Magic 5 Pro, especially in the sky colors. I prefer the Magic 5 Pro here. And that's it. What do you think about the photos? Which one is your favorite, the Oppo or the Honor? I really, really like the IMAX 989 on the Oppo pretty much. Though I'm a bit surprised that I get a bit more shallow depth of field with the Honor. I'm actually not so surprised because it's almost one inch size as well and has a bigger aperture. So yeah, which one would I prefer? I think I prefer the Honor a little bit here. Though I know that the Oppo has more realistic colors and probably a little bit more sharpness there to it but yeah the more punchy colors make it more lively the image is a bit more alive on the honor for some reason and yeah in this case i like this a little bit better maybe i'm a bit biased there but when it comes to the ultra wide angle there's neck to neck and i would say it's a draw definitely the larger sensor on the oppo is winning in terms of clarity in terms of sharpness and low light but where it fails is i think the dramatic field of view that you get definitely with the honor and in terms of sharpness the difference is not so night and day i would say so what do you think about this one here when it comes to the zoom shots i was like a bit disappointed with the oppo because it has a very large uh, zoom sensor here but uh, not a large zoom here <laughs> so basically they're neck to neck and the three and a half times has sometimes a little bit of a yeah a little bit the three and a half times on the honor has a little bit of an advantage here sometimes uh, but yeah overall i would just say slightly better on the honor maybe the extreme zoom ranges up to 10 times and beyond but only slightly and the processing is a bit better there i think but what do you think write down in the comment section otherwise when it comes to the front facing video cameras and uh, yeah, there's no competition and when it comes to the photos of course the oppo can redeem itself but i think the sharpness on the honor is a bit better even though the oppo has autofocus we have i think the winner here also in terms of photography and this is the honor what is your opinion write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and until the next time bye